Hi there, this is Mr. Haytack, and we're talking about setting up the comp book instructions, which are in your summer instructions. A composition book is either a ruled book uh, of paper, notebook paper, or it's graph paper. Either one, totally up to you. This is where you're going to keep your notes, both from in class and reading. And it just gives it a nice uh, area to keep it all together. So here's what you need to know to get started for your summer assignment, which is the first few chapters of our book. Here's the basic information. Please make sure you put your name on the cover. That way, if you misplace this or leave it in the room or whatever, we can get it back to you. You're going to do a lot of work in this, and you don't want to have to do it over. The first pages is going to be your table of contents. Some of them have a class schedule in there. When you turn the first page, the back side, the left-hand pages, um, those are going to have your odd numbers and your even numbers are going to be on the other side. So we're going to take notes in it, we're going to do problems. You might even have some blank pages in there, but most often it'll be filled up on both sides with stuff that we're doing in class and stuff you're doing on your own. You need to make sure this comes with you to class each and every day. Some students decided not to number the pages last year, and I'm not sure that was such a good idea. I, I would recommend that you do that, but really you need to find an organizational method which works for you. Finally, there's been some students who have personalized the cover, and, and it's kind of fun to do. I've done that with mine, and, and maybe you want to do that too. So on the right side pages, that means if you open the book, the page, if your eyes go to the right side of the composition book, those will be the right side pages. This is what normally is referred to as the front side of a piece of paper. These pages should be the even numbered pages. This is for class input. This is for stuff we do in class. The book notes sometimes go here. On the left side page, this is what commonly is referred to as the back side of the page. These should be odd numbered. This is for your output. This should help you in your learning and organization of the content. So I would recommend using a different color for the different types of things that you're writing about. If it's vocabulary or problems, drawings and questions. Um, this can be typed or written. I've even had some students scan sections of the book, you know, important tables and charts, and put, paste it on in there. This is also where you should do any brainstorming. So this is stuff that you're generating from your reading, from the questions, and from the problems. Concept maps, mind maps, drawings, and pictures would all go here along with some flow charts that you generate whenever you're working on stuff. So right-hand pages, that's input, stuff you're taking directly from the textbook, stuff you're taking directly from class. And the other side is going to be the output. Some students want to complete the assigned problems in the composition book also and that's fine when I collect homework I'll make sure you get it back as soon as possible so you have your composition book with you do this where they fit with the content so find that section with that vocabulary that type of problem and you do that now this homework is always an output this is you generating it so if there's homework assigned problems you know problems we're doing in class that kind of stuff is always output stuff that you're generating Homework is not necessarily collected, but the comp book is probably going to be checked in these first few chapters, so make sure you have it with you. And then the organization of the comp book is important, as there will be timed homework quizzes, what you can use your comp book for, and you need to be able to find your information. Well, what's coming up next? After your comp book is set up for the first chapter, you should continue to the first set of notes. This summer assignment, the first three chapters, should be completed when you come to class in the beginning of August. So you have about a month now to get that done. There will also be some podcasts or chapter content available before we return to school. So you might want to check the blog or the uh, iTunes site, you know, if you're subscribed to the podcast, and check the email for instructions on how to get to those. We'll go over problems and questions when we return. So anything that you have questions about, you're going to have to do that because you're going to have to ask those. I don't know what you need help with. This stuff, a lot of it's review from first year chemistry, and we're going to move very fast with this content. If that's helpful, that'll do it for setting up the comp book. You know, And if you need additional help, just send me an email. Let me know what you need from me. Good luck, and we'll see you in a few weeks.